Margaret W. Wong is a member of the 2010 inaugural class of the Cleveland International Hall of Fame. In more than 25 years of practice, Margaret has built Margaret W. Wong and Associates Company into a firm nationally and internationally renowned for its knowledge in immigration and nationality law. She exemplifies the phrase immigrant entrepreneur, and her story can be found in her book, The Immigrant's Way. Margaret has been a longtime generous supporter of many nonprofits in the community, including the recent Margaret Wong scholarship she endowed at Tri C. Margaret will be inducting Dr. Anthony Young. Thank you so much, Debbie, Ben, and Mother. Uh, for inviting us up here, up very, very fast, because we all want to go home and start another working day tomorrow. We are foreign born, we are immigrants, we need to work because, you know, otherwise nobody supports us. Uh, and before I start introducing Tony, I want to recommend, I want to comment on Dr. Shah. We are commenting on our table. As women, we never have that courage to thank our husbands. If you look at Hillary Clinton, Madeleine Albright, Ariel Okar, all these powerful women, we like to look, I shouldn't say look, it makes us look so ugly, but we like to act male, you know, we don't talk about our spouses, but the, but the male, they always thank their wives. Us, us women, for us who study power, you don't see Bill, Bill uh, Clinton with Hillary Clinton, you don't see Madeleine Albright with another half, you don't see um, Elena, uh, the U.S. Supreme Court Judge Sotomayor with another person. I don't even think she's married. She was divorced once. Um, so the idea, anytime you're successful, you sort of have to be heavy. You sort of have to be um, no children, maybe. Uh, but I, I commend you, Dr. Shah, to talk, to introduce your husband. But most of us here sort of know your husband, knows Beiju, the Beiju Shah. Um, so, but I commend you to publicly thank your husband. I mean, I could Luckily, my husband is not here, so he's not going to hear it. I don't know. I talk about my husband. And he would die also and say, what happened to this wife of mine? So, this, I think it reduces us. We are always at the bottom. And I want to congratulate you and thank you. Yeah. And I need to study from you because it could be because you are retired, so you didn't have to be like us, still hustling out there and working and show we are powerful and putting on our beautiful rings, our fair gamble shoes. Contessa Rice wears the fair. I'm not in Chanel yet, but Mrs. Retina is wearing Chanel's. So one of these things I have, oh, you're not going to work on, you're not going to work on this. It's where I should Thank you. So now let's get on Mr. Tony Yen, my mentor, my role model, and my friend. Now that I'm older and I've been around Cleveland more than 40 years, I could call him my friend. When I first moved here, Mr. Tony Yen is like our God. For one thing, you have to remember, uh, in the 60s and 70s and even 80s, nationality movements are controlled by the Eastern Europeans, the African Americans, no, because until uh, President Johnson, and we all need to read Robert Carroll's fourth book that just came out like a week ago on ascent to power and path to power, and I'm surprised that uh, Coda Act didn't come in. Uh, it was signed in 65, and he pushed it through, but the Civil Rights Act, he signed in 64. So until Quota Act came in, the South Koreans, the Chinese, we came in in 80, uh, the Nixon 72, 78, so we came in about 70, the illegals, the, the J1s, we all come in the 80s, and then you have the old Bush giving us the, 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 the C spot at the Tiananmen Square, and now of course you have the Hillary Clinton and Mr. Chen, the active blind. So Tony Yen is very much in the 60s and 70s, the low Chinese out there working with the nationality movement, which is of course all white and you know we're all racist people because we are sort of foreign born, you know, we don't get along with the Jews, the Jews don't get along with them. And it's only about ten or fifteen years ago that Chinese won Chinese lawyers to represent them. Now we have one of the biggest law firm in New York Chinatown, but in those days it could never be done. So I look back and I look at <coughs> Mr. Yan and I say, how did he do it? He came to America, he, the Yan family, I don't know if you know, is very much like, and I don't mean to be racist, I've been sued by this, and Alex Machesky, my old friend is here, I actually got him to advise me, and I got Mary Rose Holcar when I was a lawyer to advise me on how to talk so I don't become a racist. But, I'm sorry about that. But 
Mr. Yen in those days, he came, the Yen family is a very famous, but he doesn't want me to talk about that, but I'm sorry. I know he sent me like 10 emails saying, Margaret, don't talk about this. And I said, no, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. It's my stage, it's my time. And I'm going to end up my friend. That's right. So um, he came to America from Shanghai, actually from Paris, with a female maid, a maid, a Catholic priest, all that, you know, that's hired by his family to come with the prince of the family, a bank, big banking family. Of course, you know what happened in 49, um, Chiang Kai-shek went to Taiwan, and, and Chongqing fell in 48 and 49, my parents moved. It turned out my family knows his family. So my mother is the one who gave me all these tips on the Big Yen family. When his father came, when a plain dealer came out of this article, my mother, who doesn't read Chinese, said, isn't this Mr. Yen? And I thought, oh yeah, it's Tony Yen's dad. And my mother said, my gosh, you know who he is? And that's when we all found out, and of course, we found out Addis Yen, who's doing so well. So here comes Mr. Tony Yen, who's just an awesome, awesome to us, because Chinese is still a very male organization. I accept it. You know, I understand that when he asks me to do something, even though now I'm older, I'm a woman on my own now, I still listen. We st I still don't get on sit on any of these Chinese sports in New York or in Cleveland or anywhere because I'm a woman, but that's okay. We have Mr. Yen behind us, in front of us, beside us. 